What's up everybody, this is your girl Mona Lisa, aka XM's Life here, and welcome back to another episode. And when you load in to StrangerVille and you load into your home and everything like that, it pops up this beautiful brochure saying, welcome to StrangerVille where everyone dies. I'm, I'm just kidding. It says, welcome to StrangerVille. The only thing stranger than the people is the flora. Soon after moving in, the town's slogan is starting to make sense to you. Some of the locals are acting a bit suspicious, and there's a large number of military and scientists in town. Try asking people about Strangerville. They might be able to shed some light on the strange situation. We are with the gang here in Strangerville. So, off camera, I just decorated their home. I moved them in. Well, technically, I moved Agent Tanner and Melvin into her grandfather's home. This is the home that he had for over 10 years. And it's kind of sad a little bit, the house. But if you go upstairs, we're going to take a little tour. This is her grandfather's room. And this is the reason why it's so sad. Because when you go into this room, you guys, please do not cry because it made me cry. So this is the room. Um, he only has space for him to just lay right there on that bed and he puts fresh flowers on this nightstand all the time but the reason why it's so sad is because he has a portrait of his daughter and you know she, for Halloween he had her dress up <laughs> like this like his great-grandmother which was so weird but she did anyway and this was her um, husband which extra cobwebs over his face because he cleans her portrait more than he cleans her husband's portrait. He has a little planter box right there for her. There's some more chemicals over here from the chemistry that they used to do. And then, you know, there are their books and, you know, more clothes and more trophies and, and things that just signify them and who they were in this room because this used to be his daughter's room when they would come over to visit. And then this room, he let Melvin change into his own office slash laboratory area and then you know Melvin sleeps over here while Agent Tanner sleeps in this room this is obviously the professor's office and you know of course their kitchen and their dining room area I really liked it so much I love the blues and the browns I just love that tropical feel and then if you go back here you have the pool you have the lounge chairs you have outdoor seatings you have the grill when you go over to the garage you are met with their little workout room she has a robotic bot where she fights with this dude and she can spar with this and at first I thought that she had to spar with Melvin but <laughs> that was not the case and then if you go downstairs they have another fitness room and then they have you know downstairs seating lounge somewhere where they can go and just have a little bit of a break from you know trying to figure out who basically you know ordered the hit and where does this virus come from so they can find um, the cure they need to know the origins of it and they want to know who is behind all of this and after Melvin basically unleashed the virus and he did hit a button to alert Agent Tanner and her team and they came onto the scene so Agent Tanner looks like she's innocent because she's the captain and once she heard the alarm she rushed her team in quarantined the place down made sure they um, locked down all entry point so nobody could come in and out and she did her job now <laughs> the laboratory they had to of course go to the media again and say there was a malfunction with the shutdown procedure and the virus ended up spreading but you know one of our scientists did press the button in time to alert the military but it was too late so now it's out in Strangerville that is the reason why we have quarantined the town so nobody could come in and out so they give out their cover story but they kind of restrict Melvin to stay home and not come to the lab as much he helps Professor Castillo in the background while Agent Tanner is instructing her team to make sure nobody tries to hop over the fences and leave and she tells them to make sure that everything is locked down tight as well so that nothing is leaking out to the other communities which 
she is getting reports back that everything is okay. She takes Melvin along with her sometimes so that he can go out there and take samples. He can take pictures. He can get to see what the virus is really doing to the Sims out here. And because Melvin did tell Erwin about what he was going to do, giving him an anonymous tip, Erwin was there to capture two weeks ago the explosion and the virus leaking. And good thing, you know, Erwin had his mask on and he was protected in a hazmat suit and he was able to get this video out so they couldn't shut down any communication lines but um <laughs> when i made up the fact that you know melvin told erwin anonymously and all that i didn't think that erwin would be in strangerville and i was geeking when i found out that he was so check this out you guys so here's a little concession oh my goodness they actually put the freaking sim that they had in the trailer in, in the game. Oh my gosh. So Melvin is geeking out. Melvin is a huge fan of this guy right here. Melvin loves this dude. No homo. He is like in awe and excited. So he's going to come over here first and foremost. And he's going to freaking take a picture. Because he is going to fan girl over this guy guy like this is amazing you guys i want to take my own freaking picture like why am i waiting on melvin when i can like do my own dang picture i am geeking i no caps i am geeking no um melvin get over here and freaking take a picture my boo he's gonna take a photo of homeboy and he's gonna be like listen i need you to stand there and say cheese This is amazing, 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 amazing. So, okay. So, yeah, you guys, that was awesome. So then as Agent Tanner is getting to know the people in the town and trying to find out more information, and as they're trying to get samples because Melvin is helping the professor, and so he goes with Agent Tanner to help her out as well, and as they're getting more information, Agent Tanner finds out that there's this guy here in town that knows who could possibly be importing this virus and she wants to go check it out and right now she is thanking her contact for you know sending that information over to her she found out that his name is george and he has a bunker and it's amazing and it is so freaking cool you guys and i can't wait to go over there and check it out and um right now melvin is just training their dog um their canine dog who can record audio and video and he just likes fine-tuning him and getting his handiness up with this dog and his um pet training skills up as well her grandfather has been at this computer because after everybody knows about the lab her grandfather kind of went to the people that told him to start working on the cure on this as well as weaponizing it and he basically tried to get them to tell him what's really going on and why do they have another team working on weaponizing it when they should be working on curing it now because it has now completely spread all over strangerville you cannot live a normal life here and not notice the fact that people are looking at you strange like look at this clip right here where he confronts his co-worker and this freaking military personnel who was in direct line of the virus came up to them as they were talking she and says people shouldn't worry about the secret lab in the crater we have top people working on it right now top people you know what i don't i don't like that i don't like that explanation i really don't it's me here your co-worker tell me the truth <laughs> maybe talking to her will help her loosen up and this is hilarious you guys Hold on real quick. This bitch just came all up in my space talking about how you doing. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. This is hilarious. <laughs> you guys, what is going on in this freaking... How can you not notice this? How can you live, you know... A normal life in Strangerville and people coming up to you looking like this like this is the one side effect of this virus and because she was in direct hit of the virus he basically used her as an example as he was talking to his co-workers I am so ecstatic to get this game started you guys uh, so I realized that you know the more you go out into town and the more you look around and I find 
there are a lot of these wild, bizarre plants. And he took a picture of one of these plants and it went into his inventory, you guys. And in his inventory, it says, Photo Bizarre Plant, collect 15 pieces of Strangerville evidence to compile a secret dossier. Evidence can be found by questioning the locals or poking around at the secret lab. And then also, in the previous video, when I was telling you about Agent Tanner's traits, I um, said that she was creative. No, she's a genius, an insider, active, and a quick learner. Just to correct myself on that, I need them to get 15 pieces of evidence to get them that secret key. I think that will be Melvin's um, want and wish to get all 15 so he can get back into the lab, you guys, because he misses the lab and he's pissed that they kicked him out, but they had to, you know, reprimand him because it was his fault that it was leaked. He's telling this canine you know i need to tune you up so that we can go and audio and record this man as we interview him i am going to travel with melvin and the canine to george's bunker so we can talk to george see if george will let us get any more information on his contacts that might know the origins of this virus so that they can get a head start on really getting a cure i mean it has been over 20 years since they had this virus and working on it. So that's why no one's really dying right away. That's why they have these little side effects. So that's why I kind of don't feel bad that he did release this virus, but at the same time, it is bad that everyone's walking around like <laughs> almost zombies. Melvin is glad that Agent Tanner stopped here because he notices that Irwin's little concession stand is right down the street. As Agent Tanner talks to this George guy, Melvin is going to go over to Irwin and talk to Irwin. And Irwin doesn't know that it was Melvin that gave him that anonymous tip. So it's going to be interesting to see um, what more Irwin will tell Melvin once Melvin tells him that it was him that's on the inside that gave him that anonymous tip. And so I want them to become best friends. Yes, you guys, I want them to go and split this conspiracy wide open. So she's going to knock on this door and I'm going to wait here real quick so she can get her entry. And this is so cool. I really love this whole airplane bunker type feel. And I really like the fact that they have it on the uh, build and buy catalog as well. So you could build your own bunker with the aesthetics as well. And this guy is such a loner, but he, he knew that this day would happen. And that is why Agent Tanner is so excited that she has found George and she's going to talk about Strangerville with him. She's going to ask if he can give her the information she needs, especially the contacts that he has. She wants to know if she can get their numbers as well. She can spar against them. So once you do climb up into the military career, you can spar against the other person. But when you first start out, you could only spar against, I guess, the robot. I want to do some of these interactions, you guys. This is the first time I am checking it out. So... We are going to tell him to clean this place up. No, we're not going to be that mean, but we are going to ask about his career. And while they're doing their thing and you get to see it, I am going to have Melvin go and see and talk to Erwin. And I hope I am saying his name right. So here she is. And hopefully this is going to be a cool interaction that we get to see. Can you get off that computer and stand to attention? I am your captain. <laughs> But I don't think this is one of her um, military personnel. But he says, I've heard there's some kind of secret lab in the crater. I'm convinced it has something to do with the weird storm that caused my plane to crash. Hold up. So you're convinced that my grandfather's lab also is the reason why there was a weird storm that was created that caused your plane to crash. So this is getting even deeper. Like what else is this laboratory experimenting with? Because of course her grandfather had so many experiments he had to conduct with this lab, but now come to find out that this lab is the reason why his plane has crashed is amazing at the same time like she's learning even more and I don't even think she's ever heard this story from her grandfather before I think there's a lot of things he's not able to tell other people I want to see what this other interaction is so hold on let's see you guys this is funny he's all up in his boxers and he is saluting to her that's cute <laughs> so now she is going to just talk to him some more about Strangerville. Oh, she's, she asked about his career and he said that he is unemployed. And so now we're going to go over here to Melvin and he just passed somebody. <laughs> 
How can you not notice this, you guys? Look, look, he just passed somebody that is, <laughs> she is, I think, in her fourth stage where it comes to the body contortion. And this is hilarious, you guys. I am so sorry. I feel so bad for these townies, but it's like we needed you guys to know what was going on. And this is the little trailer park right here, but I'm trying to find the concession stand. I know I saw it around. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> he just passed it. And, um, oh, it's closed? What do you mean, Erwin? So Melvin is just going to stand here and wait like the fangirl he is. He is going to go here. <laughs> He's going to wait for Erwin because he wants to let Erwin know a little bit more about what's going on. And so now that Erwin is here, Melvin, no, you need to leave school early. You don't have time for that. The end of the world depends on you, okay? You're the reason why it is the way it is, so you need to fix it. So Melvin is here about to talk to Erwin, and this is so exciting because this is the conspiracy theorist he was watching on YouTube that had all types of of good tea to spill and he gave him that anonymous tip like I said and I like that um, Erwin is uh, sporting that Illuminati eye is uh, the Sims 4 telling us something huh wink wink I'm just saying allegedly I think they are allegedly I'm gonna put that in there right there um <laughs> but moving on so we are going to talk to Erwin I am so excited they actually have a character that they had you know in the trailer for Strangerville in the actual game and I was just making it all up when I say that you know he was the one that gave him the anonymous tip and that was the reason why we all found out about Strangerville but because I didn't think he would actually be in the game but now that he is it makes it that much better you guys so we are going to get to know him a little bit more and I like that Erwin is the owner of this little stand and we are going to buy some of his items because we want to support him. We want to support all that he does because he does amazing, you know, videos and he does keep you aware of what's going on in this town. And it was because of Erwin that everyone is now able to talk to family members that live outside of Strangerville. So I don't know where the heck Melvin is going, but he needs to come back here and talk to Erwin. This is ridiculous. So Melvin is going to talk to Erwin and let him know that he is actually on the inside. And Erwin is shocked that it was him that gave him that anonymous tip, but he is not going to tell him what actually transpired. Other than he's going to let the lab keep up with their cover story because he still needs to be able to be undercover with all of this. So what can we buy at this little stand you guys let's see a spy bug we can plant a bug oh my gosh we are gonna get like freaking 10 of these <laughs> we want to support Erwin okay and we will because we have money avoiding the watchful eye Ooh, so this is also another hint hint 101 tips on avoiding unwanted snoops and spies Ooh, we're gonna get that this bizarre fruit has an ominous glow to it as if it contains some living spore this thing should probably not be eaten okay so should we get it to poison somebody I mean we should should we um, cow plant dissected still not able to be explained in plain terms moo okay um, Let's keep on scrolling. You can get a Krabby Bottom. You can get Crystal Vu's Top Secret Inventions. Okay, we can get Emily. You can get um, Fortune Telling for Goofballs. No, we are not. And Lone Road and <laughs> Simonati. Okay, so of course you guys are coming on strong with the Simonati and the <laughs> Illuminati references. Okay, I see. I see what you did there. And um, Untold Mysteries of Strangerville. So they actually do have a book, and it says a compilation of all untold mysteries of Strangerville. There, there are sure to be some we missed. Ooh. We're going to get that, and then also, there you can get a wacky, wonderful carnival sock alien, 
you can get where did it go um, it was definitely out there why are we here the answers to all of life's greatest mysteries the true reason you are stuck in this canyon he's gonna get this book as well and so we're spending in total 319 dollars. but you know what he is worth it thank you for shopping at curious creations and more no one ever asks me what the more is but anywho <laughs> wait hold on but anywho enjoy your new items i will and i really just want to take a picture with you and keep talking with you because this is amazing before you know i go over to boring agent tanner who is all mysterious and never fun and play i really feel like melvin is the fun jokey quirky nerd of the bunch while agent tanner is the serious and professor castillo is still saddened with grief trying to find this cure and trying to find the truth about his lab and the people that he works for so you know we are going to let's see we are going to ask about his day as well as ask about his favorite author we want to know as much as we can about him Melvin is such a super fan. He really is. He is geeking over this. No caps, but he really is. And I'm excited for him. And I guess you can tell. But, um, <laughs> so what? And he does want to ask, you know, Erwin, Melvin does want to ask him, what about that girl in the video? Is that your girlfriend? If not, can I get her digits? Cause, you know, I want to make her mine. <laughs> and this dude is probably going to be like, nah, like, <laughs> That's not going to happen. But, you know, Melvin is going to show him some photos to prove to him that, you know, he is who he kind of says he is um, without spilling too many secrets. So I'm going to do a couple more things in this episode before I end it here, you guys. But I'm so excited. Ah, I do want to take one photo with him. So really quick, really quick before I end this part, you guys, I am going to take a photo. So we're going to just let them talk it out. And uh, what do you guys think about this? I am so excited. I've been talking about StrangerVille for so long. And I know it's a long time coming. But I really wanted to make sure that this first episode was clear enough for you guys to understand. Especially with their story now and where they are going um, as far as where I need them to go. But, you know, I'm excited, you guys. Oh! Let me just get this camera right but i'm excited you guys to really keep on going with their story as we crack the mystery and as we go along with this story progression and i am so excited that you guys are experiencing this with me for the very first time because a lot of this is new to me yes i have done a lot of stuff with their you know skills and with their careers because their backstory has called for them to be a lot further in their careers than starting out in the beginning which i do want to go through the military from the beginning to the end and i think i will do that with melvin i think when melvin does age up and graduates he does want to go into the military because he wants that access especially since he's so good at hacking and programming he can go into the special ops career but you guys can be able to see it from start to finish so i think you know in a couple parts we will age him up and do that and uh also you can see what it's like in agent tanner's life as she is a captain and she works her way up to that's very top and I really am excited you guys and I hope you enjoyed this first episode like I have and oh my goodness it is a lot you guys to take in I know their story and I know I just want to dive deep into this and just do so much but thank you guys so much for tuning in this is X Sims Life here saying happy simming and I will see you all next time bye guys